Hey guys, Alice here, and welcome to a brand new squad builder today. I've decided to use a different formation that I haven't used. I've been trying some, um, trying to experiment with different formations. For example, like the three at the back and the five at the back. I just decided, you know what, I want to try and change what I'm, how I'm playing, see how it goes. So I decided to use a four-three-two-one, and it was actually quite good. And I've got this team for you today, and it's like a uh, three, three squad, three league hybrid, I think. So if you didn't, if you do enjoy this, uh, please leave a like, and I'll get into the video now. First of all. Um, in goal is definitely Diego Alves. He does link up with the two centre backs, and um, he's very good for his price. I'm surprised about goalkeepers with ac acrobat um, save techniques. I always feel like they're gonna let you down a lot, but this guy didn't let me down at all. He was a really good goalkeeper. I'm definitely saying he's one of the best goalkeepers I've used at the moment, apart from Perrin and. Uh, I'm trying to figure another one, but I can't think one at the moment. Uh, this is another centre back, one of the first centre backs anyway. That this is probably the player I didn't like the least. I like the least, um, and his name is Adam Bior, Adam Bior, whatever his name is. Um, he played seven games, didn't get a goal or assist at all, and he was quite lackluster. He didn't really do anything in the back. He was um, quite slow as well, and I'm, I'm I'm a bit let down about him. I thought he was going to be better. Um, one of the better centre backs, especially one of the better in the defence, is definitely Mustafi. Um, this guy is so good. If you want to, you can get his um, inform, but I think it's quite expensive. His card looks good, low attacking work rate, which is brilliant for a defender, and he's got decent pace and decent defending along with his physical as well. Uh, right back, we got a very pacey player, and that is Dimir. He was a silver last year, and I think he had over 90 pace last year. Um, this year, he's very good still. But he didn't do that much uh, in defending. He was good at running up the wing and helping my right uh, forwards. But apart from that, this guy didn't do that much. Um, especially at the back. I was surprised about that. But um, before that, he was a very good player for what, how much I bought him for. Left back is uh, Alberto Moreno for Liverpool. This guy is such a good player. He did the same as Dijkmaier. But he was so much better at defending as well. Um, especially, he got a goal in the set... Uh, uh, a goal as, as well, and uh, I can imagine it was really good running up and helping the left forward as well, um, just crossing it in and cutting it. It was really good for that. Um, we go on to the midfield now. We got three centre mids. First one is boring James Milner. This guy was uh, pretty good to be honest. I mean, his shooting was really good. He got a goal and an assist for us. High high work rate, which is what you want for a midfielder. And um, apart from his pace, everything was fine. His defending was good as well. I remember sometimes he was the last guy at the back and he needed to defend. And he did what he needed to do. So if you haven't used him, definitely use him. Another Liverpool centre mid. We've got one of my favourite centre mids in this team. And that's Emre Chan. This guy was such a good player for me. He scored two goals for me and got an assist. All round work rates. Um, he's got his... Um, all his stats are nearly over 70. And... Every single stat in game is very good to be honest and he's six foot two as well which just gives him an advantage in the air and honestly I haven't used him he's not that expensive apart from his non rare 75 rated doesn't look that nice well apart from that this guy is such a good player um, another sense to me is very cheap um, this guy reminded me of Kadira and his name is Ars uh, Arslan or whatever his name is um, sort of same stats as um, Emre Chan but less defending his dribbling was amazing and he's got medium medium work rates as well so all the sentiments have got really good work rates for what um, what they need to do, uh, same same weak foot and skill moves as um, uh, Emre Chan, but apart from he didn't get any goals, he just got assists, which is what I need him for. Centre bit, I don't really mind if they don't score. I just want him to assist. And uh, going forwards, this guy was really good. And the reason he surprised me, he was like um, Kadira, was because he pushes up a lot more than you think he will. Um, with with people like um, Kadira, he went up and scored like five goals in the other squad builder. So that's good, but then bad at the same time. Right forward, the strikers are definitely what makes this team. Um, first of all, Ricardo Caresma, five star skiller, everybody should know him. He used to play for Chelsea, I think he did. Um, scored three goals and um, in six games, which is, I was expecting better, but this guy was so fun to play with. Skilling in, doing a scoop turn, all that sort of um, all, all that sort of stuff, and um, yeah, if you haven't used him, definitely use him because I thought it was going to be more expensive, but it was actually really cheap for what he is. So um, yeah, if you haven't used him, definitely use him. We go to our left forward, which is definitely the star man in this team, and that is 
Jeffrey Montero is such a good player. He reminds you of Balassi. I haven't used him, but he just seems like a, a player that will act like Balassi. And he haven't used him, definitely used him. He's so fun to play, so quick, so agile. He's got five, he's, um, he's got four star skills. He's scored five goals and we've got four assists in nine games, which is brilliant for a winger. And he's exactly what I needed. Definitely going to try him again in other squad builders. And yeah, you haven't used him, definitely use him. He also, and our final player is Adair for Swansea to link up with Montero. Um, this guy is such a beast. He reminded me, I'm not going to say he's an Ebra because there's so many people that say, oh, these players are like Ebras, but I just don't want to say that. Um, but this guy reminded me of a sort of type of Ebra player. Um, he's got, he's very strong. He's quite big, and also he got three goals and two assists for me. That he's got four star skills as well, which is quite surprising. And looking at his stats, they're shit. But in game, they like his playing style was so good. Running through the fences was just such a good way to play with him. So if you haven't tried him, he's only three hundred coins. Uh, use him definitely. So that's gonna be the team. Some of our players out of contracts. I've played it so many times with this team. So I hope you join. I'm gonna get to the clips now, and please like, subscribe, and peace. Man, I knew this thing would happen, I ain't stressing, I ain't worried about it I've been on a mission, I've been rapping, now you heard about it People always talking, they be talking, never know their place I was on the job and I was mobbing, had to show my face Always been a mama's boy, now I count them commas, boy Got it when she needed, baby, call that perfect timing, boy Burning like a candle, getting higher than Sopranos We've been down since the beginning with that drum and that piano Damn, shout out to my baby boys, daddy making noise Daddy working, daddy I've been waiting, I've been focused, I'm determined, and this shit is for the time. Now that we right here, we're still in this fight, you better know. Under the lights here, we'll be alright, we'll be alright. It's always like round and round we go, round and round we go, round and round we go. It's always like round and round we go, round and round we go, round and round we go. We'll go be alright. Still in this fight, you better know